Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm here with Anthony, and we're gonna show you how the pros wrap Christmas trees. So the first thing you're gonna notice is we start with this ball. We call them light balls. We pre-ball the lights so that they're easier to wrap around trees. That lets us get a more uniform spacing so you don't have zigzag patterns that are different spaced. The next thing you're gonna notice is if you look at the actual bulbs, those aren't like the ones you buy in the store. They're called a wide angle conical lens. What that means to you basically is it's brighter from every direction. They're super bright LEDs. They draw very little electricity. The other cool thing we're gonna show you is the connectors. So we wanna make sure even if there's a little bit of rain or dew in the morning, that's not gonna short your line. So we use these special professional style plugs. They're called coaxial connectors. So that way they're nice and watertight. They plug into each other and create a seal with a rubber grommet uh, once, we've, once we've powered up. That way your lights are always nice and protected and stay bright all season long. All right guys, right here we got a candy cane wrapped on the tree. You see the nice even spacing um, with our mini light balls. We actually use uh, strands that have the coaxial connections, so they're nice and waterproof. It's not the vampire plugs that you're used to seeing that could make the line short nice and easy. So that's how it looks. Okay, so I'm at the base of these three trees here and you'll notice there's one power source. That's a custom extension cord we run. We make sure that the plug is at least four or five inches off the ground. In this case, it's already elevated on a mound. But that way, when water pools from sprinklers or rain, it doesn't affect our power. Here's our watertight coaxial connection. And this way, we have a four-way splitter because it's tying into multiple, multiple lines. And you can see everything's nice and watertight. 